So this is kind of like a, I guess a vlog or something. I don't know. Um, so I was having a, I guess it's like, I'm washing dishes right now. I guess it was a shower thought. So I got bored and uh, downloaded a bathing app again. Um, and I probably, I don't know if I complain about this, you know, with, you know, people I know in real life or not, but uh, it's just, I mean, the whole dating, online dating, just dating period, I don't want to give online dating a bad rap, but, um, I mean, I'm just, I'm used to online dating, I've been doing it for a long time, you know, ever since it was a thing, but I don't know, I feel like it's gotten worse over the years, like, the first, I first started online dating, like, in college, and at the time, there weren't any apps or anything, you just used, like, a website, you know, like, that was a thing yet, this was, like, 2009, 2010, maybe even before that, I think, because I had a computer before that, and I'm like, I was on dating apps before then, so, like, mid to late 2000s, mid 2000s, I guess, so I was at college age, and I don't know, <laughs> maybe my standards were lower or something, I didn't notice, but, um, he was, like, a reoccurring theme of... Uh, the guy's dating profile pictures just being really, really unflattered and unattractive. And I'm like, <laughs> why, why would you do that? Like, I, I, it's just, it, it confuses me because I, I only post things that I look good in, you know, like I'm, I feel like I'm self-aware enough um, it may be a little vain, and I don't think being a little vain never hurt anybody. Um, because I think this issue is partially coming about because, uh, these guys aren't vain and they don't care about their looks. Um, which is problematic for me because, um... You know, I don't need someone, you know, to look like a supermodel, but I want them to care enough about their appearance to, like, trim their beard and comb their hair and, you know, not roll out of bed and <laughs> go somewhere in the same clothes they woke up in. You know, like, I just don't understand. But, uh, I, I, like, so some examples of some photos I've seen, um... And maybe it's just they're just really confident or just it comes off to me is they just don't really care, you know, and I feel like if you don't care about yourself, then, you know, what does that say about how the person may feel about me or like, you know, I still want to be fine at 75, you know, like I don't want someone, you know, who's just going to let their, I mean, if we're in our 30s now and they're letting themselves go, like, I don't want them to, you know, I don't want, I still want to be attracted to them in old age. Like, I don't want someone who just completely just, just lets it go and just, they don't brush their teeth, they don't comb their hair, they don't care about ironing their clothes, they don't care about putting, um, making good presentations, you know, like going out in public. Because to me, online is like in public. I mean, everyone can see your photos. So it's like, you're going out in public looking like that. But <laughs> I got off track because I was supposed to give some examples. So some examples of some of it's not just appearance based. Um, because I see some photos of guys and I can tell that they are, uh, you know, remotely, you know, they're attractive. But it's just like a weird angle. So I'll see guys with photos with they're like really extreme close-ups so their head looks like a watermelon <laughs> and it's like what are you doing like why would you 
you know, or they take a photo and everything, you know, they look decent in the photo, but then like, it's like a mirror selfie and then like the mirror is like splattered with like toothpaste and spit. And then like you look in the background and there's like dirty clothes and stuff like piled all up on the floor and I'm just like, you, you proof that? You okay that photo with all that stuff hanging out in the background? Like, so now I know that you don't, your house isn't very clean or at least you don't care about people thinking that your house is dirty. Um, or like, you know, guys are loving beards now and I don't mind beards, but if you're going to have a beard, you need to like upkeep it and it doesn't matter if it's long or short but like i'll see guys with these beards and like you know the hair's going on down their neck they got hairs a different length because obviously they're not trimming or like maintaining or brushing or moisturizing their beard hair so it's looking crazy they're looking like the dudes from duck dynasty um and that's, that's not the that's not the look out of want for someone that um you know i'm dating or they'll like and you know online dating has a rap of being you know very sex focused very you know superficial and you know i get that but then i don't understand why people are doing these things you know or they'll take a shirtless photo and they'll be like really like not in shape and i'm like i mean <laughs> if you want to be like truthful I, you know, I can tell, you know, someone's weight through clothes. Like, why why are you taking, <laughs> like, was that supposed to get me excited? You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand. And then, you know, it's like bad angles. Like I said, like extreme close-ups or <laughs> they'll do like a close-up and it's like, <laughs> I was like, I was going to try to do with the phone, but it's like. You're like looking up into their nostrils and I'm like, who is that? What? How, who, who see? How is that an attractive photo to someone? Like it literally looks like I'm looking up at you through your nose. Like it just, I don't understand. Like, you know, and then I saw this one guy's photo and he had like this t-shirt and it looked like it was just like really old. Like it was like his neck. <laughs> The neck of the t-shirt was like all stretched out and out of shape and I'm like, why are you, you, you own a shirt that looks so, I mean, cause I, I mean, I, I, you know, I spent, I bought some expensive pieces and I, this shirt I'm wearing right now is from Target, but like if it gets to a point where like the neck is all outstretched, like it's supposed to be, you know, a regular scoop neck t-shirt, but it's looking like a, a like you know, like if the shirt's hanging all the way down here and it's halfway off, you know, it, I don't know what these guys be doing. So it's just really weird. It's like, I don't know. It's like, like I said, maybe they're really over <laughs> the audacity. Um, they're, maybe they're just like really confident or they, their appearance isn't important to them. And I'm like, I, my appearance is important to me. You know, like I'm, you know, health conscious and, and, you know, I may not work out like super hard all the time, but, you know, I wouldn't get to a point where I just, you know, stop caring about my appearance. I feel like, you know, I would be 85 and I would still, you know, and it's not like, you know, some people may stop caring once they get in a relationship. Like they were literally just upkeeping or caring about their appearance just to get a mate and I'm like I'm not that person either like you know I may be in a relationship at you know whatever point in my life but I'm not dead I'm not just gonna just like I still want to feel good about myself and feel attractive and put my best face forward like I'm not gonna take a photo you know <laughs> I dry my hands let me do it real quick where it's like like this like this is their photo and it's like literally like looking up in my nose like this is it's not an attractive angle like <laughs> like who who does that look good to like i yeah i don't want to see your nose hairs you know 
it's all weird. I don't understand um, why people do that. It's just, it's strange. And it's a lot of people, so I don't know if it's the dating app that I'm on that, um, that this is a, these are the type of guys that are on this app because I've, so I will admit that this is a new dating app. I won't say which one it is, but it's a dating app that I haven't tried before. And it's unprecedented numbers of like unkept, unkempt, unkept people. The most I've ever seen in ever on like website. Like I've never seen so many people just looking like this. And I mean, I don't know what the women look like, but I feel like women, I mean, we're conditioned to care more about our appearance. So does it matter what your age or your size is or your race? Like you're going to be more likely. And it's not just about like makeup or having like a certain hair type or, or you know, size. It's I feel like across the board, like women just overall care more about their appearance. Like they may not wear makeup. Like I don't wear makeup all the time, but... They're not going to go outside, you know, um, with their hair, you know, like looking unkept or like their clothes are ripped or like stretched, stretched out or they look like they should be thrown in the trash and you should just buy a new shirt. You know, like, you know, they're still going to like wake up and look like they brushed their hair or like wash their face. Like some of these guys on these apps are looking like they haven't showered. <laughs> it's like I, I can smell them through the screen. Like I don't. I've never seen, it's like you swipe it and it's like photo after photo after photo. Whereas I was on other dating apps like last year or maybe the year before and I would run across and I would see some photos, but it, this is like, the, it's way more common on this app. So I don't know if this is just the the disgusting, the most like disgusting looking or the disgusting is app or, or this is where people just go and they just don't care they're just doing whatever but it's really 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 weird I don't understand what um, I don't understand this phenomenon I've seen it like I've seen it in other apps and I still understand it's just what are people doing like why why would they do that and guys are like you know I don't know they don't have to worry about their appearance and they just think it's just like makeup, you know what I mean? But I don't know, like, I mean, it's one thing to, you know, you know, not be, you know, in the gym every day, but like, I don't, I don't know. I guess, I guess they think the photos look cute or they're just like, I have a penis, so <laughs> This is all I need. I don't have to do anything else. I don't I don't understand. So if I post this on Facebook, uh, I may post it on YouTube or something. Um, let me know what anyone watching, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, um, is like, do you know why people do this? Or like, are you frustrated, just as frustrated as I am when guys do this? Um, cause I, I mean, I've seen, I've only noticed it with guys, I don't think women, I don't think women have this issue. So if you're a woman dating other women, I don't know, but I feel like overall, like when women are generally no matter sexual orientation, age, race, size, whatever, I think overall women are just more self-aware and they, you know, they just, they do the basics. You know what I mean? These guys are like growing out beards and like. They don't invest in a beard trimmer. <laughs> Why is your beard growing all down your neck like this? Why you got like 40 different hairs growing like sticking out like this on your face? Like, and it'd be the nerve. Like some of these guys are, like older and trying to get younger women. It's like, <laughs> or it's like you do the thing with the, it's, a, it's a, like a pose you do with your face. It's like this. And it's like no matter what your size, what you look like, you always look like you have a double chin. I see like guys like doing like that. And it's like, why are you making yourself have a double chin? Like, why are you like taking your photo like this? And then it's like up your nose. So I see like your chin, your lip and up your nostril. Like what? 
it, it blows my mind. And then they wonder why <laughs> no one's swiping on them. Your photos literally show you in the most unattractive, unflattering light imaginable. No woman, no man is going to swipe. I mean, maybe men, men don't care. Maybe men overall, their standards are lower for other men. I don't know. But I don't, I mean, I just, I don't think anyone's like going to be swiping on these ugly photos because like I said some of these guys are actually look like they are attractive if they get the angle right and they you know clean themselves up but it just shows a lack of care in their personal appearance like you know why aren't you taking a photo in your cutest outfit <laughs> you know like I mean maybe they maybe they think it's cute I don't know but I'm gonna go I'm gonna make some lunch Oh. I, I got some ravioli last time I made ravioli I got it from Imperfect Foods and it was like a different brand and it was really really good but I went to Whole Foods and I tried their um, they had their own brand of like Whole 365 ravioli it did not taste good um the actual filling inside was just like really really like flavorless like it didn't have any like seasoning or anything to it um so i didn't really like it but i mean this is why i kind of threw something together yesterday because i was like i'm really hungry i don't know if you can see there's like i have this light in the background i should have taken turn that off um but i did like you know like tomatoes and and onions and I think that's it. They did have these really cute, like cherry sized tomatoes that were like multicolor. Um, that I used in this in Whole Foods, that was really good. But I'm just like, I just finish eating because I don't want to throw it away. I mean, it's edible, it just doesn't taste as great. Uh, not as good as the other brand, I forgot the brand, whatever it was. But they actually had their brand in Whole Foods, but I was like, oh, let me try Whole Foods, they had a different filling inside. But I was like, this is not where it's at. I don't know what, I can't remember exactly the feeling was, but I was like, this is not it. It's not, it's not hitting the spot at all. And I bought a, um, so I'm trying to get back in smoothies. Um, making smoothies and I bought a um, a ninja it's the nin it's a mini one so it comes with these the cups that also serve as like the blender um, container canister um, so I bought this at like Target and so I've been making smoothies a lot uh, for breakfast um, as like a snack it's like a side to like breakfast or lunch just to so I can have some sugar or some sweetness without getting getting something that has like a fine sugar in it or like added sugar to it. So I'm going to like do like a smoothie as well real quick. I don't know I want to do the review on this, but I like the blender. For the price, it was like $50, $40, And I mean, that was a good price. I wanted something small to fit on my counter since my kitchen is so small. I don't have a lot of space. Um, I don't really care for the plastic, you know, I wish it had glass because I'm not trying to, I have my own containers that I can drink out of. I just needed something small, so I kind of wish this was glass. Um, I probably could have spent a little bit more money and probably found a blender that had a glass blender um, canister, I don't know what it's called. But I just needed something really fast. I didn't feel like looking for anything else. So I usually put, I get like the tropical blend mix. So it's strawberries, pineapples, bananas, and mangoes. Um, bananas are really what, bananas and pineapple are really what makes it sweet for me. So I always get, um, frozen bananas okay. If I get fresh bananas, I try to get them where they're more ripe. So they have like more sugar and it'll sweeten it up for me. And so I don't add any sugar or anything to it. I may add water. I usually add water. Um, I've added ice before. I don't add like milk or almond milk or any type of... I don't, I don't really like the extra flavor that some other liquid that's not water would 
add to it because I don't know. I just haven't found a flavor that tastes good. I mean, maybe if it was like a juice that didn't have added sugar, I might have, I mean, I may add that for flavor. But. The 365 Africanic Tropical Fruit Medley. These are all the little fruits they have in there. It's pretty good. I feel like they don't have enough bananas, but it had one large strawberry left in here. Um, so I'm going to put that strawberry. I don't like how the strawberries are like whole. Sometimes it poses a problem. I mean, it'll blend it, but it's kind of obnoxious. Like, it not be that big. Um, and then I went to Kroger the other day and they had, they didn't have a lot of organic options. You know, they didn't have the organic tropical mix. So this is almost tropical except it doesn't have bananas or, yeah, it just doesn't have bananas. Instead of bananas, it has peaches, which peaches can just be really bitter. If they're not right. They're not going to taste like, I feel like they're not going to taste like anything. They're not going to be sweet. But it's got mangoes, peaches, strawberries, and pineapple. Um, I need to get the scissors. It's open. It's a resealable. My hands are wet. It's not going to work. But it's a resealable bag. So it has like the Ziploc thing on it. And this is like the Kroger brand. Organic. Um, they, have, they, they have a lot. Their strawberries are a lot smaller than the Whole Foods one. There's like a leaf frozen on here. I can't, I can't get it off. Um, oh man, it's like so cold in here. So, I usually try to get like a mix of every like fruit in here. I also have... Um, some frozen blueberries that I mix in to it as well that are really good. It's back in the freezer. And then I didn't they didn't have the, the, like I said, the frozen fruit with the bananas. So I'm, I bought some um, fresh bananas to add to my smoothies. Um, so I had half of one left. Because, you know, putting a whole banana in there, that's just too much. So I did like half a banana. <laughs> Okay, and so it's pretty full up to the top. I mean, once I shake it, it gets settled. I mean, it's almost at the top. 400 milliliters, that's the marking on there. <laughs> it's like, the max fill is 16 ounces. So this is almost 16 ounces. It's about like 14 or 15 ounces. Um, but it's not going to fill up. It's not going to make this much of, uh, that much of, like smoothie. Once it blends down, it's going to be a lot less in there. I mean, I guess it's like one serving. So I pour the water from my this is pure filter. So that's about how much I don't even kind of see it, how much water is in there. I may have to add a little bit more if it gets too thick or if it like gets like stopped up in the blender. But it does pretty good like once you situate it. Um, so I, on the review on the Target website, a lot of people complain that the lid leaks. The only time that I've found that the lid leaks is if you don't put it on correctly. So if you, if it's not, if it's just a little bit lopsided or crooked, it's going to leak, leak when you um, flip it over to put in the blender. So you have to make sure that the, the lid is actually, um, not lopsided or crooked like it has to be 
So you have to be really careful. It has to be like flat, like level as you're putting it in. So like, so for example, if like you, you're putting a lid on and it's like, and it starts to look like that, you know, where it's kind of like up on one side and down on the other side. And you're putting, you're screwing it on and it, it's screwing on tight, but it's like even just a little bit, it's going to leak, leak when you um, flip it over. So you just have to be really mindful that the lid is actually screwed on properly. And I think that's what a lot of people are doing. They're just screwing it on really fast and it'll look like it's on, but it's not properly screwed on and that's why it leaks. I don't think it's like a, I think it's a user error. People aren't taking their time. They're not paying attention and they're blaming the, the blender. So I like to shake it down so that there's not like a bunch of like fruit stuck up at the top. So that's what I do. And it's really, really loud, unfortunately. Um, but I guess this has a really strong motor. I mean, you could probably pay a little bit more and get a quieter motor. Like that's like a perk. That's like a perk you could probably pay up more and get. But like I, I just wanted something like really, really fast. And like Target was like right nearby, and I didn't have to wait on it. They had it in store. So <laughs> like you're gonna like hear it. Um, I kind of see it. You're gonna hear it as it. Um, you know, like when it turns on, because it's like really, really loud. So I guess like turn down the sound. I don't know. Maybe I'll mute this if I figure out how to edit a video. part where it kind of so like it got caught up was that huge whole strawberry that they had in there um I'm gonna bring a little bit more I feel like there was like a little bit more solid left in there um so that's this is it um, so when you put it on the blender, you just press it. They have these little grooves around each side. And um, like here, right here, there's four of them. One is right there. And you, it has a little slot that it fits in. And then once it's in those four prongs or in the slot, you just press it down and it starts to blender. There's only one setting. So it's really, it's a simplified blender. You don't get any special settings or anything like that. It's one setting. And... It. it came with like a recipe book of different things you can make. I haven't really looked at it because I've, I've only been making smoothies. But I imagine you could do like pesto or like some kind of soup or salsa would be really good. You could blend up some salsa. Um, but I don't have time. I just, I really just wanted smoothies. But I mean, you know, if I ever wanted to, I could. So that's an option. And my food is still in the microwave and it's beeping. <laughs> So the blades are like really, really sharp. So you definitely want to be careful of your hand washing this. Um, that, you know, you protect your um, hands around the blade. I just take like a dishcloth and place it kind of like so that it covers the whole like palm of my hand and kind of clean around like that. Make sure all like the fruit and stuff is off of there and nothing gets dried and stuck on. Um, reusable straws, guys. I bought these years ago on Etsy. It came in like a pad. I have five different sizes. I have two really big ones. And um, the big ones are different heights, I believe. And then I have this small one um, that's like that big. Um, these are like handmade. I bought them on Etsy. Um, it's like handmade, made in the USA. Um, 
and that's what I use for like my straws and stuff when I, um, you know, drinking something at home. And since it's really thick, I use like the big straw. Okay. Not super sweet, but that's good. So I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but I buy these little lunch bags. Um, and whenever I have like food scraps, I put these in here and take it out to the dumpster so that I am I don't have like food waste like sitting in my trash can in my kitchen. So I don't know if that's like a, a tip or trick hack, kitchen hack for people. Um, I like paper because it's it's easily combustible you know it's not plastic um, this easily like you know deteriorates in a landfill it's it's just paper um, I don't know if it's made from like post consumer recycled paper I think it might be but it's like the store brand um, I just get like a cheap one um, it doesn't it doesn't say if it's I don't think it is from recycled paper but you could easily like recycle this, put this, you know, that's where you're going to use it for like a lunch bag or something. But I put like my food scraps in here and then I take it out, you know, whenever. I just don't want it sitting for extended period in like the trash can that's in my kitchen because I was buying like fresh fruit and now I feel like they're just like um, nets that come in with the fruit. So I don't know if the nets... I feel like they're literally, they must be living, their eggs or something must be living on the fruit because I don't know how they get in here. Um, and so, like, I'm just like, I, like, fresh fruit, I just, now, because I'm making smoothies, I just try to get frozen fruit or put it, like, in the refrigerator right away. And so that's why I'm like, I'm definitely, I mean, not just for gnats, but if you get any kind of, like, pests, roaches, rats, or anything, ants, you don't want to just be leaving food sitting in your kitchen for a long period of time. So, you know, I may throw out like these two, you know, three times a day um, just so that this food isn't like hanging out and making weird odors in the kitchen or whatever. So I'm going to take this out when I finish like eating. So it's not going to, you know, just so it doesn't. And I'm not taking out, I'm not wasting like a whole trash bag with nothing in it but this little stuff to take out, you know, to put in the trash the dumpster. Um, that saves, you know, some money um, because literally the only plastic that I have that I use like that are plastic trash bags. Like I try to, you know, when I go to the store, I try to use my own bags or um, paper bags if I don't have to, you know, have it. But I try to use, I try to use as less plastic as possible. Hopefully. It's ravioli, is it called? Because it was sitting in here for a while. But, that's what it's like. Um, so, can you see there? So, I'm going to eat and drink my smoothie. And, um, hope y'all enjoy this video when it gets uploaded.